In the age of internet outrage, there is a new story this week that people are really upset about, and it involves a Christian blogger. Now, what did this Christian blogger write about? Was it something anti-gay? Was it something against reproductive rights? No, Veronica Partridge wrote about how she has decided that she will no longer wear stretchy yoga pants because she's worried that she is enticing men and that it's disrespectful to her husband, okay? Now, <laughs> the fact that this has caused outrage is very surprising to me, but I'll give you uh, some tidbits from her blog and then we'll get into the details and the criticism. She wrote the following. The conversation was about leggings and how when women wear them it creates a stronger attraction for a man to look at a woman's body and may cause them to think lustful thoughts. Mm. God really changed my heart in the midst of that conversation and instead of ignoring my convictions I figured it was time I start listening to them and take action. After talking to Dale, her husband, it hit me a lot harder. It is difficult for my husband who loves, honors and respects me to keep his eyes focused ahead. And how much more difficult could it be for a man that may not have the same self-control? Sure, <laughs> if a man wants to look, they are going to look, but why entice them? Is it possible that the thin, form-fitting yoga pants or leggings could make a married or single man look at a woman in a way he should only look at his wife? Okay, <laughs> all right, so many things to say here. Uh, first of all, uh, I, I, oh. Enticing indeed. Oh, you're the worst. You're the worst. Focus. <laughs> okay, but these tight jeans are okay, but the the yoga pants are not okay. Okay, so let me let me jump in. No one no one should deny it. Yoga pants show every single nook and cranny of a woman's lower body. It is what yes. it is. Those are yes. yoga pants. It's almost as if they're skin tight. It's yeah. Those are yes. yoga pants. Yes. Leggings. Yes. In terms of their yes. Okay. <laughs> Not all yoga pants are transparent, okay? So don't get that uh, mixed up as something yeah. that you see often. But look, here's some of the criticism that people uh, gave her. One person said, how about you learn to control your thoughts, referring to you know, the guys who are being enticed, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to actually stop there with that point. Look, just turn it around, okay? Maybe, maybe I'm lusty and I'm the weird one, but if I'm walking down the street and I see a, like, a freaking hot muscular guy without a shirt on jogging I'm gonna look mm -hmm. you know what I mean and if someone Lustful tells me thoughts. and if someone tells me Anna control yourself I'd be like no fuck off this guy's jogging without a shirt on of course I'm gonna look at him right like mm, why not right? right so like this whole thing about don't look at each other don't look at each other it's really disrespectful no like if you're dressed scantily it's or if you're scantily clad, I should say, people are gonna look, right? Now it's different if someone harasses you. There, there should be a very, very strong like social code that you shouldn't harass people just because they're scantily clad, right? Like you shouldn't go up to the guy jogging shirtless and be like, mm, mm, Yeah, I'm not mm, gonna go up to him and be like, oh my God, look at you, you're glistening. And believe me, I wanna do it. I'm in West Hollywood all the time. These delicious <laughs> men with their shirtless selves. I got selves. bad news for you. <laughs> I know they're not they're interested okay, in but you. still. Okay, so, uh, all right, now let's break this down. First mm -hmm. of all, I love, her thing like, even my man, who is so strong and disciplined and doesn't want to look at other women, the yoga pants make him do it. Oh, yeah, I know, I know they do, I know. It, your man is the strongest. He, and, but even if he had, looks, my God, the rest of us undisciplined saps. What are we going to do? Can we, We're going to have nothing but lustful thoughts. Okay, now, I actually agree with half of that. Yeah. Like, if she's got yoga pants on and she's walking around, I might uh, throw a little glancy glance, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not above the... <laughs> God, did that look awesomely creepy and pervy. Um, but here's what I don't believe, that her husband restrains himself completely. But even he broke down a little bit and every once in a while checked out somebody else's ass. Okay. Although, I'm such a bad guy. Like, when I think, because they're both like deep Christians and stuff, and they saw, I saw his picture and I'm like, are we sure he's not gay? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. It turns you out he's very much man. straight. Yes, okay. he is. And okay. he likes to check out other ass. Okay, good for you, big guy. Uh, <laughs> so now, but now turning around completely, I, I, I kind of agree with her. Like, uh -huh. first of all, I don't have to agree or disagree with her. Yes. She, she gets to do whatever the hell she wants. Can I just interject for one second? Okay, so for all the people who are angry and outraged with her, this is her life. This is her marriage. This mm -hmm. is her decision. Okay, so. She didn't say in her blog for a single second that women shouldn't wear yoga pants. She said, this is a decision I've made for myself because this is what I'm comfortable with. 
So do you? I don't care. I yeah. didn't get a read her entire blog. I didn't get a sense at all that she's. She even put a judgment. disclaimer in the beginning. Yeah, she, she I, said, this not, "I'm not telling you you have to do this." Right, right? exactly. And yeah. so I didn't get that sense. And if this is her decision for her personal life, who are you to tell her? Oh, this is unacceptable. How dare you? You're slut shaming. You're doing this because you're brainwashed by your husband. No, if this is what works for her and her relationship. Stay out of it and stop being so outraged about something ridiculous. And look, we have to be able to use our common sense and, and bounds of reason here, right? So uh, some people are saying, well, it's the same as women who dress in the burqa. They think that they're making their own decision. They think they're not brainwashed by either their men or their culture, etc. Now, wait, 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 wait. There's a big difference between a burqa and a skin tight outfit, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's one thing to say, oh, an ankle or an elbow will cause uncontrollable lust in men and they will attack you, et cetera. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to say, uh, well, even if you have, let's say, cleavage, right? And you, the cleavage is pushed up like this and plastic to lawn. Uh, no, no, no men would look anyway. Uh, you're just assuming men are lustful. Nah, I got bad news for you. Guys are going to look, mm -hmm. right? So it depends where you are on that spectrum. And, if, and it depends on who you are. So if she says, I'm not comfortable wearing the skin tight outfits because I think guys might look at me. One, I think she's factually correct. I think guys would look at her. I think she's factually correct <laughs> okay. as well. And if that makes her uncomfortable, it's the end of the conversation to begin with, yeah. right? And then second of all, she's saying she's doing it for the benefit of her husband and so that other guys don't lust after her. Again, that's like her opinion, man. Mm -hmm. And you and it would be ironically similar to fundamentalists for you to impose your dress code, your strict Dress code on her. Right. So what are you going to do? By the way, you disagree. So be like, oh yeah, no. Uh, I'm sorry, Christian blogger. You're going to have to show me that ass.